movie enthusiasts. Wow, it has felt like forever since I've said that. I'm going to start off this video with a bit of an update. Over the past few months, I haven't been able to do any videos due to my editing software subscription ending and financially was unable to renew it until now. Future videos probably won't include my face, which isn't a big loss to the public, but where I usually would set up my camera and green screen, I now no longer have the space, so I have to do things with just audio for now, so I hope you guys can understand. About today's video, today's video isn't a review and it's not a countdown or a top 10 whatever. Today I wanted to address people in the film industry who openly apologise for their work. I had this discussion with my partner the other month and something popped up lately that has me thinking about it again. Director Joel Schumacher has once again apologised for ruining Batman and Robin and this fact has me very, very annoyed. When George Clooney did the same thing a couple years ago while basically saying it was the biggest mistake of his life, I lost a little bit of respect for him. Now, I understand a lot of people didn't enjoy Batman on Robin. I actually did. I especially loved Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. I loved that it's the only time we've seen a live action version of Batgirl in the films. She hasn't been as featured as maybe she should. So I'm glad Joss Whedon is in the works to do a Batgirl film. But ultimately, I love this film. It's vibrant use of color made it look like a comic book that had just jumped off the pages. The film itself and the dialogue was fun, it was kind of campy and I love camp, which people seem to hate, but that confuses me because the original Batman series starring Adam West, may he rest in peace, was extremely campy. Here's the thing, no actor or director or writer even should apologise for their work. Unless you're murdering and torturing people on set or deliberately release some film to promote violence or hate towards your fellow men, you have no reason to apologize and there are a few reasons why. One reason is because no matter how much a film is hated, there are going to be people who loved it, who took something from it that helped them in a way or maybe it just gave them an escape in a time they really needed it. So when you apologize for something they love, you are shitting on the fans who actually supported it. The ones who cop hate from narrow-minded idiots who don't seem to understand we can all like and dislike different things. It doesn't have to start a turf war. The second reason is because you are also shitting on a golden opportunity. There are people around the world who have aspirations to be in the film industry and share their art and creativity with the world and would give their left arm for the chance and here you are living a life they would kill for and you're apologizing for it. When you apologize for something people can only dream of, you're making it sound like it is such a nothing easy thing to accomplish and that is disheartening to people who struggle to be recognized. Even if you hate their work, they still want to be recognized. A fellow reviewer recently did a discussion on guilty pleasures and I brought up that I don't agree with the term. A guilty pleasure is essentially a film you love or enjoy that the masses hated. So by a societal standard you are supposed to feel guilty for not fitting in and I don't agree with that. If you enjoy a film then all the power to you. There are a lot of films I hate, for example Curse of Sleeping Beauty, and I and a lot of people agreed with me but then of course there were people who didn't agree with me. The ones who loved it actually gave me a lot of hate online simply because I didn't share their views. The difference between them and me was that I was happy they had a different experience with the film. When they knew I had a different experience to them, they hated me for it. Film is an art form and art is open to interpretation. We are all going to take different things from the movies we see. We don't have to love or hate the same things. I don't write reviews to be egotistical and force my opinion down people's throats, I write them to start a dialogue. I love the way a movie can get people talking about certain themes, actors, or maybe even discussing what elements in films have them reflect on their day-to-day -day life. It also gets people who wouldn't normally socialise with other people to open up and maybe even make friends. Many films are even educational, but it's all about perspective. We live in a world where people have this mentality where if you don't like something they like, they take it as a personal attack. They don't hear, you don't like this film, they hear, you don't like me. It causes a real unnecessary rift between people. 
Wonder Woman came out recently and while majority of people love it, I've seen plenty of people who hated it and that's fine. I welcome all forms of opinion when it comes to cinema whether I agree with it or not. We don't need to fight about it. When Clooney and Schumacher apologise for Batman and Robin and other directors and actors have apologised for their works in the past, I felt like they were pandering to the haters and that doesn't sit well with me. If you create something, if you spend your time and energy putting effort into something, you should never apologise for it. You should feel proud no matter what. Doesn't matter how many people hate you for it, feel proud you accomplished something other people wish they could. So that's all I have to say today. Thank you for listening and comment down below and tell me what film you loved or enjoyed that a lot of people hated. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, bye.